Sun's out, guns out, baby. <laughs> okay. I thought we'd try a little, little, little something, a little something different today. I'm gonna show you what's in my garage. Yeah, my mowers and everything, and see what I got. You guys see the new hotness? It's Turf Titan, baby. Gloat. Greatest lawn of all time. It's like the dare shirt. I want a dare shirt. Oh, but this, this is just as good. I'm gonna set everything up in the alley. The shadows here, I, I wanna show you, I wanna show you every mower I have. Let's do it. This might be an addiction. That's the team. <laughs> uh, it's growing. I've gotten rid of a lot of mowers over the past couple years, just for space, you know? If I had more space, I'd keep them all. I'd be a lawnmower hoarder. But yeah, let's meet some of the, some of the folks. God damn it, I always turn off the camera. <laughs> He's like, God damn it, I said quit showing off. <laughs> I love it. Okay, is this, is this gonna be like a little mini review of every single mower I have? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, this right here, 1985 California trimmer. Beast has seen better days. Briggs and Stratton, I took off the real roller's groove roller and put it on his twin. <laughs> Great mower. This is the first real mower I ever purchased. This is the first one I ever purchased. It's very intimidating at first, but after you get used to it, it's super fun. Like this intimidated the crap out of me. Like the crap out of me. <laughs> That's why his name's Beast. This right here, yep, Troy. This is the first push rotary I had at this property. I love them. I, I can't get rid of them. <laughs> TB110, rotary, single mulching blade, has a bag. Oh, I love Troy. Troy is usually just set for the back. He's usually the high cut mower for everything like the back back sidewalk strips but mostly the backyard this is my dude for sure one of my favorite rotaries definitely one of my favorite rotaries what can i say about this guy this is the workhorse this is the ego lm 2100 electric i love it i have the dual blade conversion on here it came with a single blade the dual blade i have the mulching dual blade i have the high lift i've had this thing for how many years now two and a half years this was the second this was the second rotary mower I purchased, and it is, I can't say anything bad about it. I mean, the battery works on every single Ego tool I have. I have the two trimmers, I have the blower, I have the chainsaw, I have the edger. I mean, Ego for me, I love Ego. So, LM2100 usually cuts around level two on the sidewalk strips or in the back back ranges level three, level four. So anywhere from two inches, and up, and then I'll usually use him to clean up like leaves and things like that in the main. So I'll drop it down level one and just pick up any debris. But LM2100 Ego Workhorse, one of my faves. Oh yeah, this scar stay sharp. This is, I love this guy. And as you can see, I did modify and I put Harbor Freight wheels on the back. I still have to find a way to mount wheels on the outside to make sure that it matches, but I have these little rubber straps just so the outer wheels can touch before and actually rotate, because there's gear, there's like a bearings in there, and I don't wanna rip apart the stock bearings and put them on a Harbor Freight wheel, so. But yeah, this car stay sharp, very amazing, cuts super high, can cut up to four inches. So I'm actually gonna use this today on the backpack just for a little fun mow, because we haven't used him in a while. He's just been chilling in the shed all lonely, so we're gonna let him eat today for sure. But if you're starting out real mowing, I mean, this is a definitely a good option. This is a good option for you. You wanna make sure that, you know, you enjoy real mowing at least. So fist scars, I highly recommend. This guy is a beast. I call him Tumblr. I call him the Tumblr because he looks like Bat Batman's Batmobile. <laughs> the cool thing about this too is I still haven't done the Striper Man mod. Oh yeah, you guys know Striper Man, go follow him. He has modified his Fiskars and, you know, Fiskars should just be sending him like unlimited Fiskars, stay sharps, because he has the best one so far. Shout out to Striper Man. Goat, greatest of all time. Fiskars, stay sharp. This guy right here, 
the Sunjo electric reel is probably one of the most popular and talked about reel mowers on my channel. It's an amazing little machine. It's not expensive whatsoever, good entry level. The only problem right now is it's sold out everywhere. You can't buy them. You can't find them. You gotta buy them, buy them used. I modified this one with a front roller. Eh, eh, eh. A rear roller mod. Eh, eh, eh. And then I took off the wheels. It's a beast. And then here's another trick for you guys. If you guys already have this, go buy yourselves a higher amp hour battery. I put a six amp hour instead of the four amp hour and it's flawless. It, it works really good. A lot of people say, you know, Yardbra, why don't you find another one to modify? Well, they're like 200 plus dollars and they have two amp hour batteries. I'm good. So we just got to wait for Sunjo 2.0. At least I'm going to wait for Sun Sunjo 2.0 to do any more modifications because I haven't found anything worthy of my time to modify. So this is a little beast. I love, I love the Sunjo. He is a monster. Definitely part of the crew. Don't be shy, Webb. What can I say? This is a very rare mower in the United States. Only a couple people have it now. I believe I was the first. I was the pioneer of importing a United Kingdom Web H12R into the United States. This is probably top two mowers I own. 100% top two. If I didn't, uh, we'll, get, we'll, get to, we'll get to that one. But this one right here, cuts low, only has five blades, but has a rear drum, just like the just like the big mowers, just like the big dog mowers, and it, it it keeps up. I mean, sharp cut, very light. Front roller, under 150 bucks, shipped. I mean, you're probably gonna spend another 80, 100 dollars for shipping. Now, back in the day, it was like, oh, it was kind of expensive. This is worth it. it Entry level, if you can get one of these, this is better than entry level. Number one, because it cuts better than entry level. Number two, it has front and rear rollers. Number three, it's light. It is, it's light, but it's stripes. Baby stripe monster. Oh, love me some web. I love me some web, web H12R. You can't beat it. You can't beat it. This is a grill. This is a 100% grill. I love it. Isn't that a web? No, 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 no. This is my latest pickup. It's an Atco. Very vintage, very rare, possibly a prototype. I'm definitely the only one in the United States that has one. My UK homies don't have a clue where to even get one in the United Kingdom. 10 blade, greens mower, same body as the web. This thing is amazing. This is an amazing machine. Cuts super sharp and I haven't even backlapped it. So who knows how long this is, it's been since someone backlapped this thing. This is, this is like not even a grail, this is a unicorn. You cannot obtain this, I'm sorry. Don't even ask me. And no, I'm not selling any of these. <laughs> Atco, 10 blade, baby greens mower. What can I say? If I, if I could just have two mowers, it would be this and web. That's it. This and web for a smaller lawn, 100%. Under 5,000 square feet, I'll be out there all day, 5,000 square feet. I have 4,000 right now that I'm mowing. These two would fulfill all my needs. 100%. Unicorn. Unicorn. What do you got there, yard bruh? Yeah, it's called a yard man. 1977, real mower, manual, and it goes down to three quarters of an inch. It's rusty, it's ugly, and I love it. It cuts really good too. Now it does give you a rippling effect. You know, it's all good. Sometimes it's nice to have different pattern in the lawn. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely a cool pickup. I picked this up at the same place where I got the Atco 10 blade baby greens mower. And this thing I, I need to utilize more. I got a, you know, back lap and all that good stuff. But if you can get a vintage, I mean, this was only 20 bucks. Practice real mowing, practice with this, get this dialed down, practice your back lapping, practice your reel to bed knife adjustments. You can't beat 20 bucks for a little, you know, weekend project. Make it happen. Vintage, 70s, love this one. This is also a 1985 California trimmer that I just redid. It came clean. I mean, it was clean already. This is well-preserved, garage's whole life, next to a golf course. I did a carb clean, 
We did an oil change with a, some high-end oil. We did a new air filter. We did ethanol-free gas. We did a nice back lap. We did a real to bed knife adjustment that took forever, but now it's cutting amazing. Five blade cutting good. I might just raise it up, transfer this to the very bottom, the real rollers groove roller, and start cutting with this guy in the backpack. Just to get that really high, high cut. I'm gonna measure to see if it's high, high, high enough for us, you know what I mean? But if you guys can get yourself a vintage California trimmer, this is my favorite vintage. I mean, McLean's cool, but the Cali is just, to me, it's sleek. It looks good, it feels good, it's a tank, cuts nice. The newer Callies, I, I'm stupid for getting rid of my other one. I, I was just annoyed that these sides were touching at a low cut. For some reason, this one doesn't, but the other one was just scraping the sides. It was a 2022 model and it was brand new. I, you know, I might eventually get another one, but this right now is fulfilling my need for it. It has a Honda G100, super quiet, super reliable feeling. The older Briggs, the flatheads, I'm not a, I'm, I'm just not a fan. You know, you know, a lot of people out there are fans of them. I'm just not a fan of the flathead Briggs. I, I want something that feels reliable and you know, people are like, oh, mine's lasted forever. Well, mine's leaky and I just don't like how loud it is and it just doesn't, I just don't like it. Like the newer Briggs, sure, I'll put a newer Briggs on here all day long. Of course, new technology is the best. If you can get yourself your hands on this, make sure you get a real rollers groove, groove roller as well. I'm not really a fan of the California groove roller, California trimmer groove roller, because it's split. I mean, I don't know. I'm just, and then it has a weird like thickness in the middle. So you're getting, number one, you're getting pinstripes from the two wheels on the outside. And then you're getting this weird line in the middle. Come on, Cali, Cal Cali trim. Come on, Cali trim. <laughs> but yeah, this is, this is fulfilling my needs right now for a Cali. So I won't need to pick one up for a while. This is definitely a little monster. What can I say? Ever since I started real mowing, and just lawn care in general, this has always been a mower that I've always wanted. It's like a, a grail. When I, you know, it, it, grail meaning not everyone can afford one, not everyone is gonna have one because it is kind of expensive, but it's just, it's a swordman. What can you say? I have some issues with it and that's fine. You know, I like to tink around anyways. Like he almost caught on fire the other day. <laughs> But the belt's fine. It's 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 just you got to replace things sometimes, and you know, Swordman is is awesome. It's it, it's an awesome machine. It'll give you some headaches, and that's 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 okay for me because it's a Swordman. <laughs> I'm just happy I have one. Yeah, it's a Swordy. What can you, what else can you say? It, it it's 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 a flex. That that's all this motor is. It's a flex. <laughs> And last, but not least, Hudson Star, baby. Hudson mother frickin' star. This is the PGA Edition 11 blade. Greens mower, manual, push. No engine, expensive as all hell, but worth every penny. The sharpest cut I've had ever. Very light, very sturdy, American made. You can't beat it. I mean, my lawn is cut right now at three eighths of an inch and it's not getting shaved or scalped because of this grail of a lawnmower. It is expensive, but if this thing had easy to install extender blocks, I have the extender blocks, I have the eight blade. This would be my only mower that I would own. If I, if I had to choose one mower out of any mower on earth right now, it's the Hudson Star. I'm not saying that future mowers are gonna come out and they'll be like, oh crap, this is the one. Because I know there's a couple on the radar that I want here now. Two actually that I can't tell you guys about. <laughs> I can't tell you guys about those ones, but those are gonna be, mm, just wait for those ones. But this right here, Hudson Star PGA version, 11 blade. You're, 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 you're not gonna beat it right now. You're not gonna beat it. It is, it's the best mower I've ever mowed with. I've said that before, I'm gonna say it again. It's the best mower I've ever mowed with. This is my number one right now. This is my go-to, this is my number one. This is the, this is the major dime. This is the, this is the quarter. This is not a dime piece. This is a silver dollar. <laughs> this is the second Julia dollar. I mean, this is higher than a dime. It's that good. I love it, it's just amazing. Well, yeah guys, that's my collection. It will grow. 
as time goes on. I don't know if I could sell any of these ones. These ones are all good, amazing mowers. I, I just, I'm very, uh, I'm attached to these ones because I use them. I put them all in rotation. Like I said, Fiskars hasn't been getting any love lately because I just want to dial down the outer wheels. That's the collection, my dudes. Okay, let's go find something else to do. I'm gonna put these away. I gotta fix the drone blades because I was trying to do a cool shot through the Hudson and it pooped itself. <laughs> that was my bad. But, okay, see you in a second. Yeah, I'm doing a little, this is uh, what's in my garage video today. Oh yeah? Yeah. I had no idea, I've, s I've seen a couple of your videos because yeah. I've seen like your California trimmer videos yeah, and that. Yeah. And I had no idea you were over here. Yeah. Or bro. in Washington. I'm here. So, that's funny. That's, that's cool. crazy. I'm like, he's got to be doing YouTube video or something like that with that camera. And then that's seeing epic. it. So. That's so epic. I'm at, what? What is that? Three eights right now? Oh yeah. Yeah. I still have five eights. Are you? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, so you can get the GM? Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, let me grab my phone. Nice. <laughs> now, I was watching Connor Ward quite a bit. Mm hmm And... You don't mind if I film, do you? No. Okay, I just cool. don't want to end up No, You'll, you'll, you'll be in there now. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be in there now. That's a Hancock seed research of the Champion GQ. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Sideways band field paint. Love it. So, love it. Um, and I ended up doing a little bit of a. I was scarified mm -hmm. because I have some areas that are just not. It's a lot of shade. Mm -hmm. Where'd you get your green master? I bought it out of Michigan. I was Thank searched you. and searched and searched, and that was the only place for 250 Hell yeah. bucks. Hell yeah. 250 bucks? Yeah. So that's the next one. That's there when, you go. That's when it came in. That there was you April, go. but I can't believe you you ran into me. <laughs> well, that was cool. Him and his wife were doing some mortgage signings and he was like he went having to be yard for <laughs> I mean I'm telling you it happens like every day it's like the perfect time too because he got to see all the mowers out I swear to god I did not plan that that was not planned that's epic and he has a greens master so funny anywho I uh, better get to my um, better get to my jazz <laughs> I'm gonna put all my stuff away what a fun day that's what I get for trying to be fancy with the drone. I hope I have blades. If not, we're gonna go Fantastic Voyage to Best Buy. Oh, yes. Oh, shit. I might need to get a whole, whole batch. These are messed up. You dirty birds. You see that? You will not be trying those maneuvers again. I wanna show you guys how brown everything is in the backpack. Not the backpack itself, but its neighbor. All right, so we are going to go ahead and get the drone out in the back. We'll make that happen. You know, I didn't think Yardbro was gonna be like this, but you know, I love it. I don't need to film 
me filming on a drone, so let's just watch some drone footage. Let's do it. Yep, that's what's going on. I'm now a drone repair person. Ugh. It's not lawn related, but at least we're doing something. <laughs> okay, DJI, you little shit. I just fixed it. Yes, it works. Look at that. Took that sucker apart. Fixed the gimbal. Wasn't plugged in the tape when it fell. Okay, let's let's try to fly this without the case. <laughs> let's go. Let's see if it flies. Well, I fixed it. Let me put the top shell back on, and then we'll go fly in the back. That's the Fiskar, stay sharp. I love it. I should use it more often. I need to do the Striper Man mod. It's because I have the best mowers. But entry level, if you're just starting, it's hard to mess up with this. Like you can cut all the way to four inches. Why not start, right? 
It cuts high, like this is cut at two and a half, looks amazing, super sharp, super even. So it's a good entry level for sure. This is a good entry level. If you can get your hands on the web though, it smashes on this. There's no competition. This is wider. So if you have a you know bigger property, of course, this is a good thing to, you know, good real mower to test out. Highly recommend. Everyone's asking, why don't you why don't you use the fist cars? Well, I have a lot of good mowers. <laughs> and you know, entry level. I'm kind of, I'm kind of, you know, past the entry level. I like the challenge of a greens mower. I like the challenge of the more expensive mowers, you know, and this was great in the beginning. You know, the first couple seasons, you saw me using this after an overseed, Fiskars, you know, so, but yeah. Guys, sometimes the lawn just looks a little too good and there's really nothing to do. For now, I'm just having fun in the lawn. I got a couple more weeks and I'm burning it down. So there's gonna be a ton of content coming up here pretty soon. But you guys are the best, thank you. And it was a fun day. I spent most of the day fixing a drone. <laughs> but you guys are awesome. You're the best. We'll catch you in the next video. Back it easy. This, my friends, is Luba. He's my robotic mower. And he's a beast. I like him. He keeps it nice and tidy back here. Good job, bud. Mm. Let's go ahead and set this guy to mow. Have fun, buddy. Oh! He just hit the tripod. Come on, bro. You're on camera. Don't embarrass me. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that's that's the robot more. <laughs>